everyone hope everyone is doing great in this video we will learn how to group or ungroup various objects how to use the pathfinder tool and finally how to expand uh, the text or some other things to objects so to understand the concept of grouping let's take an example uh, suppose i want to make a cloud so for cloud i will use these shapes to form a cloud so i will form different circles of different sizes and i will press on it and i form rectangle i will just make it like this so we have a cloud here now let's give it blue color now let's suppose i want to move my cloud towards right so i have to select all of it and then i can move it otherwise if i just move it like this so you see uh, the rectangle will be separated and because these are separate shapes so what i want is i want to group these uh, shapes together so i can move my cloud at once so what will i do is i will just select them all and right click and will make a group so now I can move it easily without selecting all each time to understand one more use of this grouping let's just type cloud using this type tool we will discuss this type tool in more detail in some other video for now let's just keep it like this and by pressing shift select this one and just right click and select group one uh, more way to make them group is by using Control plus g just select the shapes and select the things which you want to make group and then um, press Control and g together and it will make a group so in short the grouping makes your life easy and is a way to optimize your work now let's see if i want to change its color to red then i will just from here click on red and you see now the color of this whole thing is changing that's because it's now a group so if i want to change the color of this uh, cloud only then what will i have to do is first ungroup them and then i can change the cloud color and then i can group them together just like both of them and group them together so uh, basically you have two objects in one group one is this cloud and the other one is this text so another way to change the color without ungrouping is simply double click on the desired object of which you want to change the color and then simply you can change its color so uh, using this way we can change the color without ungrouping over object so you see it's still a group So this was all grouping. Now let's talk about Pathfinder tool. So to understand the working of Pathfinder tool, we will take two examples. First, let's ungroup this group and delete this text. And you see the cloud is still in a group, so ungroup this one too. So now we have separate shapes. Now let's open the Pathfinder tool from this window. And you see here we have the pathfinder tool i can just bring it here so you guys can also see so we have dip different options in this tool um this is unite this is minus this is intersect and this is exclude so what we want is we want to make them a shape so what we will do is we will select all of them and we will click on unite so now it has become a shape uh, but one thing in this tool is we cannot ungroup this one now this all has merged together one other way to which i can show you the working of this tool is by drawing a circle so now delete uh, this one or just keep it one here and draw a circle now what i want is i want to draw a moon 
so for moon i will just copy it and i have already told you that to copy a shape just press alt and drag it so i will give it different colors this one dark blue so i will place this one over here so you can see this one is a perfect moon all i want is i want to erase somehow this circle part so what will i do is i will select both of them and i will minus front and you see i have a perfect moon using this pathfinder tool so basically we can use this pathfinder tool to unite some shapes to subtract different shapes from each other um, and we can uh, draw some amazing things using these simple tools okay so now let's understand the concept of expanding to understand that let's first move it to the top so one important thing here is when you want to scale something down or up or what you have to do is you have to uh, press shift and then scale it down otherwise if you just try to scale it down without pressing the shift then you can um, destroy its shape or its original shape so always uh, press shift and then scale something down or up okay so for now let's move it to the top so uh, now let's draw a circle and give it a stroke of let five six points so that it is visible to you and now let's uh, suppose that i want to make a hole in it so the first thing which will come into my mind is to use the eraser now when will i try to erase it then you see i have this stroke line also coming here so what if i didn't want this line this stroke line coming here too and if you just notice whenever i will make a hole i will i'm gonna have this stroke in it so to avoid that what will i do is i will select it and from object i will select this expand and i will just click on ok so now when will i try to erase it you see i will i don't have the stroke line here i can easily make holes in it to understand it in a more better way let's type something using this text tool i will just type cloud again and let's increase its size to 72 percent now let's suppose i want to erase it i want to erase the d or i want to erase the c but if i try to use eraser in it then you will see that it will not any effect on it even if i select it and then i will try to erase then you see they will not allow me to erase anything this is because it is a text and not an object so to make it object what we will do is we will simply select again object and select expand and click on ok now you can see that it will become an object so what will we do is if we try to erase it then i can simply erase whatever i want another important thing to notice in this one is that it is in the form of group uh, we already have discussed about grouping and ungrouping so now let's ungroup this one and now i will be able to select and move each separate um, alphabet let's move it back there and let's make it group again you might be thinking that why i didn't just uh, delete the alphabet while typing it and why i did a long procedure that is making it an object by expanding and then erasing something this is because you will find its use when you will do typography in typography you have to play with each alphabet and uh, uh, make it more stylish and uh, do other things so it will come into use in such things so this was all about today. See you in next video. Keep watching.